All right, so this guy completely blindsided me. I had no idea he was camping inside a building. Let's see if his showboating will pay off. He's in a top seven situation, clearly favoring the camping strategy. Taking on an actual AI over here, he's in a top five situation now. Remember, he emoted on me about four times, camping in a building. Here comes another one, he's dancing on an AI player. That was legit a bot he killed. Can his showboating pay off? Too bad snipers are not in the game or this guy would get absolutely pelted in the face for showboating. Top four situation, I hope one of these players is really skilled and takes this guy out. Looks like maybe the best player in the lobby is up there in that build. He seems to be running the show here, although this guy in front seems to have the chug cannon. So that is a plus. This guy, wow, I wonder what platform he's on. He's talking the talk, but can he walk the walk? Let's see. He's got plenty of material. Now he's making himself a target for all parties involved. So all three players that are left besides him know exactly where he is. I think his time is coming to an end. He gets pelted by a headshot from the guy that I deem the best player in the lobby. He still has two guys in front of him, one on his right. He's making his way into the circle. This guy in front of him on the left doesn't appear to be that good. But hey, when you've got a golf club for a pickaxe and you're using the beanbag emote after killing an actual AI, you gotta be the best player in the world. He's hiding behind a tree, plenty of materials to build, but instead he'd rather showboat because he knows I'm spectating him. This is my type of player right here. So now he's in the wide open, still showboating with his Lynx skin. This is absolutely unheard of. I can't believe nobody has lasered him yet. He's literally in the open, sitting on a beanbag with his driver. And now he's gonna noob walk his way into the building, picked up a med kit. So it looked like he had an open slot there. I had six minis on me, so who knows why he didn't pick those up. I'm embarrassed that I even died to this guy. He's actively not even trying to win this match. He'd rather showboat and sit behind weirdly placed objects such as this staircase. The guy isn't even up there anymore and he's watching up there as if something's gonna fall down. And now he gets stuck on the counter. Holy smokes, no access required. This guy is the best player I've ever seen. So here we go. He's going backside. He's going A-side. He's got all the necessary weapons to win this match, but I think his overconfidence is going to be his downfall. Never mind, he's going to sit behind a tree, and he's going to pull the beanbag out for the fifth time in a row. Are you kidding me? He's going to let everyone else do the work, and he's going to lazily recline on that beanbag. Nope, he's pushing forward again just slightly. The two skilled players are going at it. The third player, I have no idea where they are at this point, and he, of course, is the lazy fourth player on his beanbag enjoying the show. My money is on the chug cannon guy. It's very hard to take out someone with that chug splash cannon because you're always replenishing your health. Even if you get tagged, it's no effort whatsoever to replenish. Now he's showcasing his circa 1999 Fortnite skills when everyone used to box up. He's got a guy directly underneath him, but the two other players are focusing on both of these guys as well. He's got an explosive bow. Again, I had a shockwave bow. Who knows why he didn't swap that out. Meanwhile, this Brian guy, has picked up another kill. I think he's the guy with the chug splash cannon. So obviously, so now what can't build that well. In fact, I'd say he's even a worse builder than me, which is saying a lot. It does look like he's on Builder Pro though. He's trying to take the high ground. If I had to place a guess here, I would say this guy's gonna die to fall damage. 100% guaranteed. In fact, I think that guy's breaking down right down there. Maybe he's not. So we're in a top three situation. Both guys are directly below. Here comes the beanbag, his patented maneuver. Nobody can counter this because it's pretty much uncounterable. Nothing can stop the beanbag. Once you pull that out, you instantly win the match. But remember, there's no heal offs anymore. We've got rotating circles, so he has to come down. He has to push forward. I think the two guys down below are gonna duke it out and it's gonna eventually be a 1v1. Here we go, he's dropping down a little bit. He's not chasing any waterfalls. I don't think he knows how to do that. That guy just yeeted himself to the tippy top. There's going to be no fall damage from him. Oh, we're taking damage in the storm. And we're getting blindsided, backside, A-side, B-side. He's stuck in the storm. He doesn't know what to do. The beanbag won't help him. And Brian takes him out. GG's Brian. I thought it was Brian, but it looks like Bray Ann. I can't believe you absolutely dominated that guy. The beanbag trick didn't save him that time. Who would have thought that the beanbag emote wouldn't automatically win him the game? I thought for sure that was going to be a victory royale for the Lynx skin. That beanbag is just so overpowered, I can't believe he actually lost while utilizing it almost 10 times. 
So here we go. Brian appears to be the one with the Chug Splash Cannon. He's the one I originally favored to win this match. I'm not sure who he's up against. I saw this guy in the kill feed at least six times, so he probably has at least six kills. However, the other guy has the high ground and the Shockwave Bow. So which one reigns supreme, the Shockwave Bow or the Chug Splash Cannon? That's a tough call. I do like the rest of his loadout. He's got a legendary primal shotgun as well as the SMG, but now he's stuck in the storm. Chug Splash won't help him if he can't get out of the storm. He has plenty of materials, but he's not really utilizing them to the best of his ability. He doesn't seem to want to build that much. Instead, he just wants to rely on that Chug Splash Cannon, but it can help him secure the victory. Now, this other guy is definitely holding the high ground very, very well, but I have not seen what Skinny even is or what weapons he does have. Looks like this is a horrible circle and he slid right down the mountain. Will the circle catch up with him? I don't know how many splashes he's got left because it's not showing me very well. Oh, he's going to die to the store because it's rotating up. He's got plenty of match, but he's not going to build. Brian bites the dust to Fazzy 21. Absolutely crazy. That's Master Chief. And he didn't even have the shockwave bow. He just had a lot of shockwaves. Wow. What an exciting turn of events there. I was wrong. The chug splash did not reign supreme. But, more importantly, the guy that took me out camping in the house relied on his beanbag tactics one too many times, and he ultimately paid the price. There you go. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.